Let's have a good time. What we're gonna do is we're gonna cut up our shirts. We have these shirts and we wanna cut them up and make them look cooler. What do you think? Cool, cool, cool! Yeah, all right, we're gonna show you how to cut the sleeves out of your shirts and look cool. All right, we're back. So what we're gonna do is first is show you the shirts we're gonna cut up. And JT, show them your shirt first. All right, we got a little Batman shirt. It's got a little bit small for him. So we're gonna cut these sleeves off so he can wear it for a little bit longer because he really likes the shirt. Do you really like that Batman shirt? Yes. All right, so this is the shirt I'm gonna cut up and it is a shirt that you can purchase. Fast food fitness shirt, logo on the front, just move, yes. And what I didn't like about it is when it came in, the neck was just, it's a little bit too big on the neck. So I'm hoping that I can cut these sleeves out and maybe they'll make that look a little better, feel a little better. The other thing, it was a little bit snug around my shoulders and my bicep and tricep right there. So I'm gonna slip those off and that'll be that. All right, here we go. This is what you need to do. You can do yours like that. So first thing what I like to do is I like to basically take it, make sure it's nice and flat, not too many wrinkles, and you want to fold it in half like a hot dog. All right, so fold it in half. Go ahead and fold yours in half, buddy. Okay. Get it folded in half and take your time. Do this really well. Don't get in a hurry. I know that you get excited doing stuff like this. I do too. And if it's not right the first time you fold it, you want to you wanna redo it. You want it to be perfectly folded. Don't get in a hurry. I got, I got sure. my folded. All right, good deal. So he did his really fast. But I'm not having trouble with mine because of those, the way they cut the shoulders, I don't like that. All right, and look at this one. Not bad, not bad. Not bad. All right, so what we like to do is make sure it's good and flat. There's no wrinkles. I don't feel any wrinkles underneath there. Boom, we're not worried about the bottom part. I don't feel any wrinkles <sighs> under mine. All right, so you want to relieve all of the pressure right here that the shirt causes so you can show off your shoulders. Yeah, you have yeah, more yeah, freedom yeah, of movement. Yeah, right? That's so right, right here, we want to have better freedom of movement right there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take three fingers. Three of my fingers on the big shirts, three of his fingers on that. We're going to start right there. So that's where the top cut will be, right there. And then three fingers down here, that's where the bottom cut will be. Yep. All right, and you just kind of eyeball it because you're going to cut both sides at the same time. Yep. All right, what you'll need is this, a good pair of scissors. Now, I don't know how good these are, so we'll see if it goes good or not. All right, so what you need to do. I want to do it first. I'm going to let you do yours. All right, so we have, that's, the, that's where I'm going. I'm going to eyeball to that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little slit right there. Boom. All right. If I can get a little slit, that would be good. There you go, guys. I can see a little bitty tiny slit. I don't need a big one. Three fingers down here. And you want to see a straight line all the way down to where those three fingers start. Yes, right there. So... Mm -hmm. And I want to do however I want to do it. Mine. All right, I'll let you. All right, let's get through here. You'll have to put a little pulling into it. Boom. It's off. All right, you see what we got? Got the two sleeves. Yep. Discard these, turn and, them into... And you can turn them into towels. Maybe make a little mask out of them if you wanted to. Yep. Let's get them down. I want to do mine next. Ugh. There you go. You got a free mask. Check that out. Yes. Out of your sleeves if, you, if you're into that kind of stuff there. There you go. We'll show you the finished results on this one in a second. So I'm going to set it to the side. Boom. Now, okay, JT. What I do? Let's make sure we got everything nice and straight. And whoop. you want us? Let's do yours a little bit different. Let's do since those scissors didn't do really well on mine. 
We're going to cut one sleeve, then we'll cut the other sleeve. Okay. Is that a good idea? Yes. Okay, so I'm going to make sure it's nice and flat on each side. We'll show you the technique of doing one at a time. The, whole, the big issue of doing one at a time, though, is they're not going to look the same on each side. They're not going to look the same. They may, they'll be really close, but not the same. All right, here we go. So we're going to keep this right here. I want to make my little notch. Can we, can we do it together? You make the notch. You want to make the notches, and then I'll cut them? Yes. All right, so here we go. So take your three fingers, put it just like that. Yeah. Go ahead, put your three fingers down here. Slide your fingers over. I want you to start your fingers right there. All right, now his fingers, his three fingers, all right, open up. You can step back, step back. It's the same as my two fingers on this little shirt. So I'm going to go two fingers, make a cut right there, JT. Can you make a little cut? Yeah. There you go, take the scissors. Hey, I'm, hold on, I'm going to turn this. Here we go guys, we'll fold them up and we will show you the finished products in a second. Yes, here we go, let's, all right, we are back, check it out. Yes, mine feels good. Does yours feel good? Yes. My arms are free, I'm loose, I feel like this is, this being too big, it doesn't matter anymore. How's yours feel? Really good. Yes, look at the muscles you're showing off. Let me see your muscles. Yeah, look at these muscles. Turn around. Turn around so everybody can, I can see the back side here. Look at that, all the way around looking good. Very good. So that was cut one sleeve at a time. This was cut two sleeves at a time. Yeah, there's my muscles all the way around. All the way around. Yes, check it out. All right, here we go. Now, as a bonus, out of doing this, you can get some masks for yourself. Check out our mask. We'll be right back. All right, here we go. Got some free mask out of it. What do you think about your mask? Good. All right, now mine goes all the way around, you see, still. But his, his head's too big. He's got a big old head. He's gonna be big. So what I did is I cut out, let me see it. All right, little slits for his ears. And the slips on right over his ears. That's right, so you get a little like that. All right. Here we go. Let's have a little fashion show. All right, here's JT's shirt. Cut one sleeve at a time, looking good. Show off your muscles a little bit. Let's see what you got. Yeah. So let's say taking a shirt that was too small for him, he didn't wear anymore, and now it's looking good. What do you think? Yeah. All right, here's the Just Move shirt. So if you like that or not. Show them off just enough, man, it's, it's like a brand new shirt. I mean, it is a brand new shirt that I couldn't wear and now I can wear it. Feels good. I'm proud of it, I'm glad I got it. Yep, showing off just enough, not too much. All right, thank you for watching. We're Fast Food Fitness. We put videos out randomly all week. What do you gotta tell them? Bye-bye. Yes, like, subscribe, and have an amazing day. to do after you make your cool t-shirts is you do something cool look what i got oh yeah we're gonna eat some crawfish oh my little buddy will join me here in a minute these crawfish are so good different ways to eat them put the whole thing in your mouth soak the stuff off the outside tastes so good soak the head here's your head yes the do is they call that crawfish butter you just suck all that crawfish butter out, then start peeling away. There you go. Good stuff. Get you some of that. Oh, look at that one. Ooh, wee. You just enjoy some crawfish. Now, after you get your t-shirt made, it's actually pretty good. You can tell they've been in the pot for a while. Excuse me, out of the pot for a while, so a little bit kind of like not as juicy as it could be, but the meat's coming out of them good. So you can sit here and eat on them all day. 
Got my little buddy to join me. We took off running a little bit earlier. Fell down, busted his knee open. Again. Not too bad, but he kind of wimped out on the crawfish. Look at that bad boy. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Sit here and eat all these. Got two pounds, not very much. Just enough to kind of enjoy. So I'm gonna enjoy this. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. JT! That's the type of I don't like. Tear them open. It's supposed to have that meat on it still. We eat a little bit of butter. And when you peel them off, it should be one piece of meat. They break in half. I don't like that. supposed to wipe your hands or your face with a napkin until you're done. Let your face burn, your fingers burn. Ooh, that was good. It's all part of it. Man, it tastes good. <clears throat> now you've got to get your crawfish. You've got to get them I always have to roll put it out, put the whole thing in your mouth. Pick him off. <clears throat> I always have the rule. You better get them before July 4th. Some places you can start getting them around November or whatever, but they're usually very expensive. Then come really it kicks off late January, February. Start to get bigger, <clears throat> a little tastier. But between January, Fourth of July, eat all you can because the rest of the year they're not, not any good, and you're, or, or you just can't find them. There is a season. It's supposed to be a food that you enjoy with your friends, but it is best that way. Get out there, get 40, 50 pounds, invite a dozen friends over, have a crawfish eating party, something them out on the table. <clears throat> Good stuff. If you ever buy crawfish now at a store, you need to flip it over. That's when you uh, open them up. Look on the package, you open up that door. If you're buying just the pre-peeled tails. Some of them are really good that way, but you need to see where it came from. A lot of it will come from out of the country, and I, I don't like those. They aren't as good. And they have some that are in the country. They're better. You can probably figure out what kind of water they came through. <clears throat> you can take just the tails. Make all types of dishes with them. Be really cool. <laughs> Anyways, thanks for watching. <clears throat> Maybe I don't know if I gave you enough instructions on these bad boys or not, but. You can see how it's kind of soft. Watch me squeeze it with that juice falling out. Oh, yeah. That stuff is so good. 
some of them you squeeze like that, nothing comes out. It means they've been out in the pot too long and they're kind of dry. You will not enjoy them. So there's one that just tore up. That's not, that's not a very tasty one right there. Look at that one, all juicy. Yep. And the tail stays together and boom, chunk of meat. Ah. It's not a lot, but it's worth it. It's not a pleasant food to watch someone eat. I know that. That's not what it's about. It's about the flavor, the know-how. That one was hot. Burn it back in the throat. It's just good. <coughs> that one fell apart, I'm not eating it. Just some juicy watch. It's a little bit hard. When you get them right out of the water, they're really good crawfish. You twist, pull that off, suck the head, get the juices. Instead of pulling off that first little right layer right there, you can put them in your mouth and pinch right here. And they come out. That was a good one. See that? That's the fastest way. They're really good. You can do that. That one worked out too. Just not a bad batch. Got them a little late in the day. So I know they've been sitting out. The places I found that's actually the, the tastiest, they spend a little more time with their crawfish. They purge them. And I'm sure what I'm talking about. So, see that crawfish head? Suck it. Well, this one's not, this one's gonna tear up. <laughs> and, suck the head, when you peel it, let's see, that's not, oh, yeah, a good example. You see that black thing hanging out? That's what the crawfish has been eating. When they first get them and they purge or they clean the crawfish, they'll put all the crawfish alive in water and then they'll, they'll dump some salt in there. And then they're, while they're still alive, those crawfish will, Sounds gross, but they'll clean themselves out. They'll spit all that stuff up. Then, when you cook them, you don't have that stuff or much of that stuff in them. And it tastes fine, like that's, that's what it will look like when you first get it. So that one, the black stuff just came on off. If you meet that black stuff, it's perfectly fine. Won't hurt thing. It's actually very tasty. Y'all know what it is, I'm just not saying it. But, oh. A lot of these crawfish I'm getting are just tearing apart. Anyways, make you a cool t-shirt. Do something cool afterwards with your tool t-shirt. Wish I could share this with JT. JT, come in here. See that one's, there you go, look at that. You put a lot of bay leaves in this, makes it good. Want to have you a separate little trash can. Kind of like shrimp. JT! My mom always says I eat too fast. This may be why. If you don't eat this stuff fast, it gets cold. 
I want my first crawfish to be good and hot. I want that last crawfish to be good and hot. I don't want them cold. Cold crawfish, no good. Look at that crawfish butter. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's a good one right there. Look at that. Not much left. Anyway, this is fast food fitness. We love food. We love activity. We love just getting out and moving, running, biking, hiking, going places new, sharing with y'all. I challenge y'all to do the same thing. Just move, just get out, be off your butts. Enjoy being alive. Don't just live. Don't just be, a, don't just survive. Thrive, that's the new word. Get out there and do stuff, see new things. Everybody is near something within an hour. There's something that's beautiful around you. Drive to it. Go see it. Day trips are amazing. The last one. Something else you can do. Get the claw. This is not huge, but how you get it is you, you break it all the way around. Twist it, turn it, and then take your time. And boom, you got some meat out of there. Yep. And then, suck it like you've been you're doing all of them. If it's, see if it's good. Boom, boom. Break it all the way around. Pull that meat real slow. Boom. Good stuff. Have a little fun with them. Yeah, have a little fun. They got scissors hands. Crawfish hands. Ah! All right. Thank you for watching Fast Food Fitness. Just move. Thank you for watching. Subscribe, like, comment, make comment, whatever. We love you all. Y'all have a fabulous day. Now I can wipe my hands and my face. If your face isn't burning, your hands aren't burning a little bit, you didn't do it right.